is a video that was requested um, that I do a makeup look. So this is the makeup look I've gone for. If you want to know how to get this look, or something close to this look, there's also like a nude lip alternative. Um, but obviously, if you're a bit, if you're less of a makeup person, because I know the red lips is quite intense. Um, but yeah, so if you're interested in how I have, sorry, I keep, I'm looking this way because that's where the mirror is. So, um, but yeah, if you're interested in the video, what am I saying? Just keep watching. Okay, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And by the way, I would just like to put out there, I'm not a makeup artist. I've got no skills whatsoever. This is just what I do personally. I don't know about skin tone matching. If you're going to excuse me telling I don't know about skin tone matching or anything like that. Primers and colour correctors. No, I'm not. I have no clue. So this is literally just like a basic girl. Basic. I was going to say B-I-T-C-H, but staring. It's just literally, it's like super drug kind of standard, bog standard look. So, um, yeah. So don't judge. Well, you can judge because that's what people do anyway. But, yeah, like I said, I'm not a makeup artist. I've got no skills. This is just what I do. Obviously, you would need to adjust your tones, your colours, your skin tone and whatnot. So, yeah. Hopefully you like it. And on with the video. Okay, so we're going to start with um, eyebrows. And I like to go in with, it's actually a glitter primer by NYX, and I use an eyebrow brush. And I'm just going to brush my eyebrows upwards and outwards, just because I like my brows to look quite fluffy um, and thick. So I'm going to brush them upwards and outwards. So you want to make sure you wipe off any excess product and then I'm just going to shape them round so that they, they're more the shape of an eyebrow rather than spiky. Then I'm going to go in with my Rimmel London Brow This Way kit. Um, this is the colour dark brown I think and I'm just going to shape my eyebrow going to give it a little bit of definition and um, I'm going to fill it in with upward strokes mostly because um, I don't want it to look too blocky and square so I use both the powder and the gel in this kit. So for the smoky eyes, it's the Revolution Maxi Reloaded palette. Um, we're just going to start off with the white. And I'm just going to apply this all over my eyelid um, with my middle finger. So I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush, um, anyone will do really. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to go in with this beigey colour. And I'm going to apply that to my outer corner and I'm just going to try and blend that up to my brow bone. I'm going in with a, a slightly darker shade and I'm just going to I'll do the same. Then again, with a darker shade, darker brown, I'm just going to apply that into the crease. I'm going to drag that round a bit more to the middle, just to add some dimension to my eye. Now for even more dimension, I'm going to go in with the darkest brown. I'm just going to apply that to the outer corner and into the crease. And you don't want to smoke this too high, you just want to keep it on the outer corners. And I like to just touch up the white and just blend that back in again. Obviously, got to have a bit of tea to prepare me for the dreaded winged liner. This is um, Collection 2000's Fast Stroke in the colour black, I think. And um, yeah, so I just like to do a winged eyeliner. Nine times out of ten, they're never symmetrical. I try my best, but I mean, like I said, I'm not a pro, so we just do what we can.
So, once I've finished my winged eyeliner, I go in with L'Oreal's True Match in the shade Golden Beige. I like this one because it's got a bit of a shimmer to it. And I'm going to apply this with a flat brush and I'm just going to apply it all over my face really. So a really cool trick that I learnt with concealer is to put two dots on the inside of your eye and one dot on the outside and then you just blend it downwards and outwards and you actually get really good coverage and it does brighten up your face. Um, you don't need all those big triangles and stuff that you see on Instagram photos, that's mostly just a waste of product, it's just clickbait really. And that concealer is Barry M in the shade Oatmeal and then again we've got Barry M Contour Stick and I'm just going to apply that. Uh, down the side of my nose and into my cheekbones and I'm going to blend that with another flat brush. Next up we have another Barium product, this is the Ready Set Smooth Banana Powder. I'm just going to apply that underneath my eyes um, with a beauty blender, as you can see I'm running out of the product. Um, but yeah, so I don't leave it on for too long because I don't want to look all dry and cakey. So basically, I just leave it on for a couple of seconds and then I dust it off with a clean, fluffy brush. So then I'll go in with my bronzer. This is Collection Bronze Glow. On the back it says terracotta. I'm not sure if that's the colour or what, but... And I use a normal blusher brush and I just start to apply this on my cheekbones. You want to start from the, the top end of your cheekbone by your hairline and then you want to bring it downwards in circular motions. And also apply some to your nose. You know when you get a nice suntan, it gets your nose a little bit, don't it? Um, and then next up, we have a small brush. Um, this is for my under eye. We're going to go back in with the second shade that we use on our eyes. And we're just going to blend that across the lower eye. And then we're going to go in with a black eyeliner and we're just going to put that in our waterline halfway. Then we're going to apply some of my favourite mascara, which is Million Lashes. I think that's L'Oreal. I'm going to apply some of that to the bottom. And then for the top lashes, we're going to go in with some falsies. And these are Tatty Lashes number TL24. I know I said it's a natural kind of look but um this is me we're talking about so this is natural for me and um, yeah i'm just going to apply the lashes as you can see you have to excuse the camera i don't know why it's got a weird glow to it now i think maybe i smeared some makeup on the camera So now that my lashes are done, um, I'm going to apply my lipstick. I'm using the shade Fleek by Lottie London. It's their matte lipstick. Their matte lipsticks are honestly amazing. They last all day and they've got the most beautiful nude shades. So yeah, this is the lipstick. This is obviously the finished look with the nude lipstick, but if you're feeling a bit more adventurous, you can always slap on a red lip and it will look a bit more like this. So yeah, hope you liked the video guys and that is all.